Trial kicked off today in Belleville that calls into question the way premature babies are fed in NICUs across the country. The I-team has been reporting for months on how preemies who get formula are at a higher risk for a deadly disease. Tonight, our Christine Byers tells us how one organization is trying to get human milk into NICUs and why it's easier to get in some states. Is that fun? Jean Renaud became septic. Are you the baby? just weeks after she gave birth to her first child. I ended up with appendicitis and I could not nurse. Her pediatrician recommended her newborn get breast milk for his first six months. My sister um, had a baby she was nursing and we were able to use her, her milk. Now, Jean is among thousands of women across the country who donate breast milk to organizations like the Milk Bank. Milk that attorneys now allege could mean the difference between life and death for premature babies. You never know the circumstance of what somebody's going through where they may need it. The Milk Bank's Mary Timmel says the nonprofit is always in need. For NICU patients, every ounce counts. That's because study after study the I team found shows premature babies who get formula made with cow's milk are more likely to get necrotizing enterocolitis, NEC for short. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates about one in every 10 deaths in NICUs are because of neck. And those who survive it can be left with lifelong health complications. The studies that have been done around pasteurized donor human milk for NICU patients are pretty clear that, you know, infants fed just a human milk diet are much better, have much better health outcomes. The I team also found hundreds of parents across the country are now suing Abbott and Mead Johnson, alleging the formula companies did not do enough to warn them about the increased risk of neck. The first trial against Mead Johnson began Thursday in St. Clair County. The company sent us a statement which read, allegations from the plaintiff's lawyers are without merit and attempt to grossly oversimplify complex medical conditions with attacks not upheld by experts in the medical community. The case involves a mother whose son did not survive after going to a hospital that did not have donor milk. I just think that's heartbreaking. Human donor milk is not free to the hospitals that choose to use it. Formula often is. Despite the cost, one hospital in Atlanta says it saw a 77 percent decline in neck cases when it started using human milk only in its NICU. The I team also found only 18 states include funding for donor milk, either through Medicaid and or private insurance coverage mandates or in state budgets. And we're always looking to have those conversations in states where we operate and even states outside of that. What does it mean to get more and more parents access to that pasteurized donor human milk covered under Medicaid if it's possible? You want dad to push you? Jean says she hopes donor milk will someday be accessible for everyone. If you could benefit from, you know, donated human breast milk, I just, I would hope that for every NICU baby, any PICU baby that could receive it. The nonprofit would not say which hospitals use its products, but the Milk Bank says expectant parents should ask their hospital if they have donor milk, should they need it. For the I team, Christine Byers, five on your side. To find out more about how the Milk Bank screens its donors and how to donate, you can check out Christine's story under the As Seen on TV section on KSDK.com. And if you have a tip for Christine and the Five on Your Side I team, leave a voice message at this number, 314-444-5231, or you can send an email to tips at KSDK.com, and all calls and correspondence will be kept confidential.